Hey, how's it going? Um, just clearing out some junk and found some computing stuff from 30 years ago, back in the mid-1980s. Uh, do you remember PC-DOS? You'd have to be uh, a bit older now to remember PC-DOS. Um, this is a thick book put out by uh, Peter Norton, and some of you will know Peter Norton's the guy behind um, Norton Utilities and Norton's Antivirus. And yeah, he was around doing computer stuff in the 80s, and look how thick this book is, it's just crazy. Anyway, um, so DOS, for you young guys, stands for Disk Operating System, and that was in place before Windows even exi existed, so before people were using Windows, they were using DOS, and it was horrible, you know, you type in black and white screen, um, if you remember that, post some comments below, that'd be really funny to hear what you guys have got to say. Um, and we're using floppy disks. The way the floppy disks came out was they came out with a five and a quarter inch disk like this, and it would, like, it's super thin, look how thin that is. It's obviously, um, it's, it, you'd put them in cases like this, you'd put them in these thick cases and um, to store them, but yeah, they didn't hold much at all. Um, I can't even remember the figure. I mean, the three and a half inch floppy only held 1.4 megs, so these were like 720 megabytes, or m might have been way less than that actually. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can, you know, people have funny things that they do with them. So um, if you've got any thoughts on that, just post them below in the comments. Um, love to hear what you used to do with those. And um, I've got something here that I don't think many of you would have ever seen, but in the early computers, uh, they had cartridges like this, where you'd open them up like that, and you would put your CD-ROM, this is when CD-ROMs first, CDs first came out, you'd put them in like this, close it like that, and insert that into your desktop and um, that would be how you play your CD. I mean, now we've gone from, obviously after this they started putting them into trays and then we had, you know, all kinds of other kind of disks and flash drives, but you know, now everything's up in the cloud and um, things have really moved on from 30 years ago. But um, yeah, just cleaning up, thought I'd show you these things going way back in the past. And um, yeah, let me know what, uh, Microsoft Windows you started using, and um, did you use DOS ever in the real early days? Um, yeah, love to hear your thoughts, and um, check out my website, 123makewebsites.com, and uh, I'll show you how to build your first website using WordPress, self-hosted WordPress, and um, yeah, talk to you soon. Okay, bye.